Accessibility Insights for Android lets you quickly test Android apps for common accessibility issues such as low contrast, missing names, invalid attributes, and incorrect focus order. In this video, you'll learn how to complete a fast pass on an Android app on a hardware or virtual device. This video shows a Windows computer, but you can also complete a fast pass using a Mac or Linux computer, and the steps are the same. This video assumes you've already installed and set up Accessibility Insights for Android. Those steps are covered in a separate video available at AccessibilityInsights.io. FastPass is a two-step process that helps developers find common, high-impact accessibility issues in less than five minutes. We recommend running a FastPass prior to each code pull request. FastPass begins with automated checks. Connect your computer to your test device. On your device, open your target app and navigate to the screen you want to test. On your computer, open Accessibility Insights for Android. When the screen says Connected and Ready to Go, select Start Testing. In a few seconds, the automated check results are displayed in a new window. The window includes the total number of failure instances, a list of the accessibility rules that were violated, the number of failed instances for each rule, and a screenshot of the target app with failed instances highlighted. The visual helper toggle lets you quickly show or hide the highlighting. Expanding a rule shows links to more information about the rule and the underlying WCAG requirement. It also shows the related failure instances as a set of cards and highlights those failures in the screenshot. In the bottom right corner of each failure card is a disclosure button that reveals more actions. You can file an issue in GitHub or Azure boards, or copy the failure details to your clipboard. And you can share a detailed report of all the automated check results by selecting Export Result in the command bar. The second step in FastPass is an assisted manual test for tab stops. Accessibility Insights explains how to test and what problems to look for. To test, Turn on the Visual Helper and navigate through your app using the tab and arrow keys. You can use the built-in virtual keyboard to complete this test on any device, or if you prefer, you can use your computer's keyboard to test on a virtual device, or a Bluetooth keyboard connected to a physical device. The Visual Helper makes it easy to identify keyboard accessibility problems such as missing tab stops, keyboard traps, and incorrect tab order. An optional step in FastPass is to evaluate instances that need review. Sometimes an automated check encounters an element coded in a way that it can't be evaluated automatically. Such instances need to be reviewed by a human to determine whether they pass or fail. Expanding a rule reveals the instances that need to be reviewed. Selecting an instance highlights it in the screenshot. Under How to Check, you'll find instructions for verifying that an instance passes. Thank you for watching. Learn more about Accessibility Insights for Android at accessibilityinsights.io.